Hi, it's Brennan from Deco Network, and I've got a quick tutorial to show you how you can customize and personalize these tabs on the Create Product Information page on the front end of your Deco Network website. And this is in response to a, a forum question, which basically asked, how can you remove some of these tab items? But in addition to that, I'd like to show you a few more tricks you can do to change the layout and customize this view, which you might find it interesting for your own Deco Network website. Now to do this, uh, we want to run two different browsers. You first of all want to download and use uh, Firefox and view the website when you're not logged in. So you're viewing it in Firefox just like an everyday regular customer not logged into your website. Then in another browser, in my case uh, Google Chrome, uh, you want to be logged in so you can save those changes and make them permanent on your website if you like them. Now the uh, third thing that we want to do is within Firefox, you want to install and use a plugin called Firebug. Now to get that, start up a new tab, type in get Firebug, click enter. This will take you to a Google search result and it probably should be the first result, which is getfirebug.com. And this is a free add-on to Firefox. You can get it on Chrome, but it's pretty average. Definitely want to use it in Firefox. And just click that install button and it will go through and install that on your browser. Once you do that, you'll get this little bug icon in the top right corner. Now what uh, Firebug does, it basically lets you inspect the code on your website and make changes to that CSS and HTML code only in your browser. So you can preview what those changes look like before you actually save them to your website. Because the last thing you want to be doing is changing colors and sizes in your live website and it looks horrible or it makes stuff disappear and it affects your customers while they're browsing it. You want to test them first before you apply those changes to your, your site. So first of all, browse to the page that you want to modify. In this case, it's the uh, information page of an actual product with those tabs. And then start up Firebug by clicking the Firebug icon. It then opens up a window below and you want to make sure you're on the HTML tab of this um, little uh, tool. And it basically gives you two views, the HTML view on one side and the accompanying CSS on the other side, which is really what controls the look and feel of your, of your website. Now, over the left corner here, you've got this little uh, click element on your page to inspect, which is when you click on that and you move your mouse around, you can see it's now glowing in blue. And when it's glowing blue, it's telling you that below, I'm now showing you the exact CSS and HTML for that particular element. So in this button, for example, if I click on that button, we now see here is the exact HTML for that button, and here is the CSS that controls that button, including the colors and everything. So I can literally change that to be background, spell it right, equals red, and make it important. And now that's a, a red button on my website, so it jumps out and my customers more likely will click that because I want them to decorate it more than buy it blank. So this change is just local, it's currently not saved on my website. So if I hit refresh, those changes will be gone and it goes back to the everyday normal website. But it gives you the opportunity to preview that change before you save it and commit it to your real site. So getting to the task at hand, which is to modify these tabs. So what I'd like to do is for me, I think the colors and sizes is pretty important. I think the description is important, but I wanna get rid of the sizing tab and the shipping tab because for whatever reason, I maybe don't want them on my website. And again, we're gonna preview it first before we save that away. So first of all, let's get rid of these um, tabs at the top. Now let's say I wanna keep these two tabs, but just get rid of these tabs. Then I can open up my Firebug. I can click on the inspect tool again, and then mouse over those particular tabs. And then we can see down here, I'm now within the tab area. Here's this tab here which is inside this little LI. And then the next tab is in the LI and the previous tab before that, they're all in these little tiny LIs. Now, if I expand them open, I can see that each link has an exact ID. So this link ID is called um, tab underscore button underscore sizing. This next one is called tab underscore button underscore shipping. So over the right here, I can create some CSS rules that can change those buttons, in my case, make them disappear. And we do that using the display none um, CSS. So first of all, I need to add these um, CSS rules or elements over here to this CSS panel. 
So I'm going to right click, add a new rule. And being that it's an ID, it starts with a hash. So do a hashtag. And then the actual ID name. In this case, it's tab underscore button underscore sizing. Now I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to put display, then tab, and none. And that gets rid of that particular button. It's now instantly disappeared from my site. If I bring it back, it comes back, get rid of it again, and it goes away. Okay, so that's my sizing one gone. Now I want to get rid of shipping. Now I don't need to make a new rule. I can actually modify this current rule by clicking on it and doing a comma, which means now specify another one. And they're both doing the same thing. So now I just put in the hashtag. And the next one is called tab underscore button underscore shipping. Tab underscore button underscore shipping. And you'll notice it starts to auto complete for you because it knows what's already on the page and it's match matches up for you. So now they're both gone and I've got these two buttons ready to play with. Now if that's all I wanted to do, I could now save this to make my website have it to be a permanent change. If I refresh it, I'll lose that straight away. So now that I've done that rule, I'll then select that rule, right click, copy out all that CSS that I've just changed, go over to my, Firefox, uh, my Chrome where I've logged in, go and manage that particular web store, Go under Website Settings and Customize Template CSS. I now want to add that to my CSS. I'm just going to put it at the top so it's easily accessible. Paste in that and go down and save and continue editing. Now because it's saved in my CSS, this time when I refresh it, that change is now permanent. So both those tabs have been removed. They are still there. You can see them below here, but they're just hidden because of my rule saying that they're, that they're gone. Now, that's a good change, but I don't like the fact that I've got these two um, elements sitting here and I have to click on them. I really want them to be all on the one tab, which means I don't really need any of these tabs at the top. I can get rid of all of these, and I want the description content and the sizing content to be on the one page. Well, first of all, let's go back and undo that change that I did previously. So we'll get rid of that, so they all appear. And let's actually see what happens when I'm clicking on each of these tabs to make this kind of action happen. Now, over the right here, or the left here, sorry, we can see that I've got, first of all, all my little tab icons here. And that's inside an area called tab list. Directly below that, we've now got the tab content. If I expand that open, you can see there's equally four areas to match each of those the product details area, product description area, product sizing area, and the product shipping tab, which matches each of these buttons here. The first one being the details button, description button, sizing button, and the shipping button. And watch what happens when I click each of these buttons here. First of all, you can see this first one, which is displayed, the product details one, it has a style of display block. That means it's showing. The other ones are set to style display none, which means like I did previously up here, they're not showing, they're hidden from display. And the way it works is when you click on each of these tab buttons, it just changes the display property for the active one that you've clicked on and turns the others to none. So now when I click on sizing, for example, it currently says none. I click on it, it changes it to block and sets the other one to none. So that's all it does. It hides the other one and displays the other one. And that's simply how those tabs work. So first of all, I'm gonna get rid of all of these tabs because I don't want any tab buttons at the top. I just want the content to be displayed. So if I come back up here, now I could go through and set a display none for every single one of these buttons, but that's a bit of a waste of time because the way CSS works is you go up to its parent container, which in this case is this little UL called class tab list. If I make that be display none, everything inside of it will also be not displayed as well. So over the left here, there already is a CSS element called dot tab list, so I don't need to make one. So I'll just click on here and add to that, enter, and do display none. And it's got rid of that entire row of buttons, which is what I want. Now I want to save that to my CSS to make sure that I don't lose it. Now in this case, when you're modifying something that already exists, so this element was already here, it already said padding zero, and I just added display none. 
When you add this to your custom CSS, you still only want to add only the part that you changed. So I'll still copy all of this out and I'll still take it over to Chrome and I'll paste it in replace of my old one. But I'll get rid of the stuff that I didn't modify. So I didn't change the padding. I'll get rid of that and I'll just leave that display none. And I'll just go save and continue so I don't lose that change. Okay, now if I come back and refresh that, just to make sure that that change is still happening. Okay, and that change is still in effect. Um, and I've only got my sizes and colors information here. So let's go back and inspect that area. Click on inspect again and inspect in that place. And it's inside the area called tab content. So we expand that open and we can see it is currently showing the product details tab but this next one is not shown and that's the problem, it's still hidden. And now I can't get to it because I've removed my button. Well, that's okay, we can actually define a rule over here to force this one to also be displayed as well. And we can even make a rule to force these ones to always not be displayed just in case. So let's go and create that rule. Again, we'll click on this little area here, which is this one that's currently not showing. And I'll right click and add a rule. And it is called hashtag which is for an ID, tab underscore product underscore description. Tab underscore product underscore description. And then enter, and this time I wanna do display block. Now sometimes, as I've just done here, it doesn't work. You do display block and nothing appeared to happen, and then it gets crossed out. That's because something is overriding that particular value. And in this case, it's because against the element, it's been hard coded to say display none. So how do I force it to use my rule that I've just created? At the end of your value, in this case block, you do explanation mark important. And that says this is really important. Use this and ignore any other rule that might be associated to that. And now it does apply that. And then suddenly my block appears below because this one is already set to display. It's got no display none. And now this one is also set to display. So I placed it underneath. Now I can continue to do that with everything. So I can actually add the sizing one as well. So I'll select that, copy out that name, go back to my previous rule. Again, click on the end of that, press comma, add in that new tab, and it can force the sizing one to display as well. And I can display all of them if I want. It's gonna be quite long. But in this case, I'm gonna to stick to my original idea and just display the description one only which now gives me my sizes, my colors, and my description in one single nice little tab. Now again, the golden rule, this isn't final, this is only in my browser preview, so I wanna save that change. So I grab out that change I've just done, right click, copy, go over to Chrome, paste it in on a new line, save that away. And always to be 100% sure, go back, shut down your Firebug, and refresh that page. And make sure that the change has happened, which it has done. So that's a neat little trick on hiding different tabs or hiding all the tabs and forcing certain tabs to show always by default.